Can you hear me? Okay. Should I ask, do you want to hear me? I, I, I've never met John before. I've been a huge admirer for a, a long time for reasons that you've now begun to, just begun to understand. And uh, I was just delighted uh, to learn as we chatted there how much we have in common. And uh, it, I didn't mean to interrupt the program by dominating his attention before he used to get up here. The challenge put to us was, uh, I, I guess, centered around a, a lawsuit uh, to do something about natural resource management and wolves. And I looked at that and I thought, geez, I'm going to a group of activists. My guess is they probably would like to be a part of a dialogue um, and uh, give and take. Uh, they certainly know how to motivate various groups to get things done. I'm not sure uh, that there's a, a lot of fruitful information that I could add. And further, uh, that sort of product uh, of, of, of how we would move forward, to me, sort of misses the point, something that I think is far more important. I tend to think in, that the process is really where uh, there's a problem and where we have to uh, direct our attention, and I think John began to allude to that. Maybe we can come back and have 15 minutes worth of question when I'm done, about, um, about what Wisconsin has done. I have uh, known, I think, uh, nine or ten governors in, in Wisconsin and watched the way they have governed. And it is only very recently and accelerating almost uh, by the year that we have had a process that was similar to what I heard uh, described in, in uh, Michigan. And, uh, you know, it's decidedly undemocratic, small d. And uh, I have been, since I left the legislature, traveling around um, promoting uh, the idea of redistricting reform on a bipartisan basis with my friend, former Senator Tim Cullen, who's a Democrat. Now, you may wonder why I would do that, and, and the answer is, is very simple. Because I think, like most of you, uh, we love our democratic traditions, small d. We love the fact that we can come together and discuss issues that, that public policy generally, traditionally in this country has bubbled up from the bottom. But we all have this uneasy feeling that we're losing that and that the game somehow or another is rigged. Why do we, why do we put up with solutions that we don't like? Um, I think most of us think, well, we had a fair chance to discuss it, we were heard, uh, we didn't win, we were able to modify it. I mean, you can pick whatever issue you want, but increasingly we see a new kind of politics, a winner-take-all politics. And it's in stark contrast to most of those governors that I've had the pleasure of knowing, those wise uh, gentlemen who have brought people together with numerous blue ribbon commissions uh, sort of a Wisconsin way of doing things. Maybe we got it from our Scandinavian heritage or, or something. But the, the whole point is that we let people sit down, we aired our issues and differences quite publicly, and when we got most of the way there, then the process was turned over to the elected representatives to sort of finish the process. Um, some of you probably know I was a little bit involved in a mine up north, and I remember very clearly what um, was the result or what was the process and then the result of the previous mining bill that lasted for I think 20 years in Wisconsin. A very similar sort of open public process. So um, I would submit um, there is a connection between uh, redistricting reform, open records, and uh, the mission of the university. Now why, why would I pick these? When we decide that we are no longer interested in the search for the truth, ask ourselves then what are we interested in and what, how does that relate to those democratic values that we hold so dear? It's why I and many other people in this state uh, 
reacted angrily and very quickly um, to the notion that legislators would, uh, and a governor would attempt to mess with the mission of the university system. And uh, I think people should be appalled that we can't find out who did what. Right now there's an open records uh, lawsuit that's uh, seeking to get access to emails. You have a right to know. As a former legislator, let me tell you, when the press comes knocking, it's, it's uh, a little tense. I always told my friends uh, something I heard from a newspaper man uh, many years ago. If you're not doing anything wrong, then you have very little to fear. And, uh, and that's important. And that's a part of the process, just like redistricting is. Um, we all the press conference is a little commercial. Uh, a press conference here a week ago, Senator Cullen and I uh, stood alongside the people who were suing the state of Wisconsin over our redistricting plan. Now, some of you I know are smart enough and thinking quickly going, wait a minute, Dale, didn't you vote for that plan? That's true, I did. Um, but I had no knowledge of how it was produced because we were told, you know, look, these things are always legal, we got lawyers, they're directing it, um, you know, we're going to do this, it'll be all right. If you want to suggest I should have been more aggressive asking questions, I'll plead guilty and accept your punishment, but that, that's the reason. But um, I think that more importantly, uh, I've recognized that uh, from what I've seen, that there's something grossly wrong with this, and uh, listening to these people who um, have filed suit, the plaintiffs, um, and their experts, is something that you can do in an hour's worth of your time if you go to Wisconsin. Everybody here know what Wisconsin I is? Does anybody not know what Wisconsin I is? Well, good. I, you don't know. Wisconsin I is the state's version of C-SPAN, except there's no government money in it. You can uh, Google it, and they can, you can watch every, virtually every government meeting in Madison, either uh, in real time or pull it out of the archives and see who did what. So you can watch that press conference, which was held in the Capitol, and uh, it's an hour, at, which I don't have to explain to you, uh, the basis behind uh, redistricting. But it, it revolves around something the courts have, have said in the past. They think partisan gerrymandering is bad. There's a concept called symmetry, which means that no political party should be disadvantaged in a reapportionment unduly. And uh, they just said we, uh, we find partisan gerrymandering just as unconstitutional as uh, you know, the system that was in place before one man, one vote, and, and racial gerrymandering. And the, the notion is that uh, uh, if you can give us a standard, uh, we will rule on it. And they've basically been asking for the, the lawsuit. I'm not an attorney, uh, but it never uh, prevents me from uh, expounding on legal issues. Um, <laughs> But I tell you these things, uh, along with one other one that I'll throw out there, campaign finance reform. I think most of you understand and know what Citizens United was all about and what it has meant. Again, what we've done is we've decided money speech, making some people a whole lot more equal than others uh, in the process. And I've always thought business should have a voice in the town square when issues were being discussed. I just never thought it should own it. And, um, and if there, you want living proof uh, that the rich aren't smarter than the rest of us, I offer you Donald Trump. <laughs> um, we, we need a robust discussion, and, and people shouldn't be unduly, uh, uh, you know, uh, pushed out of the process. But I think we all know that there are limitations on free speech. You can't yell fire in a theater and nor should you have the ability uh, and, uh, to use money to drown out everybody else's comments on the public policy that's important to all of us. <laughs> so my pitch to you is, let's not worry so much about this. Uh, well, the lawsuit's fine, don't get me wrong. I, I'm a hunter, I, uh, I bird hunt, that's what John and I were talking about. I worry about uh, being out in places where there are high concentrations of woods and losing my dog. Um, I know there are some of you maybe who don't believe in hunting, but let's just remain friends and, and we'll talk about that over a beer sometime. 
But, you know, I would like to have my views considered when these discussions are held. I tend to uh, defer to science. Um, deeply distressed about the uh, firing of the scientists in the Department of Natural Resources. I remember when, when I eventually wound up being unsuccessful in the legislature with Schultz proof uh, over the mine, uh, the Secretary of Natural Resources said, well, don't worry, the law may have changed, um, but we have all these good people in the department you can depend on. Right. There's the lie to it. Uh, right there. Uh, the canning of all these people who would have the knowledge to object. And even though the mine seems to be off the table now because the company decided to, because of world markets, not to move forward, it could come back any day, and Wisconsin is wholly unprotected with its current mining law. But my point is that these process examples I've talked about is where I would really urge you put your energy because um, our tradition of having clean and open government is at risk. Um, and it doesn't just happen in Republican states. Um, gerrymandering has occurred in places like Massachusetts and Rhode Island for Democrats for years. Um, both parties are equally guilty, and I think they're guilty of taking the process away from the people. And this group of plaintiffs that uh, was had the press conference in the Capitol that Tim Cullen and I stood alongside have, have indicated that in, in a few months there will be a uh, lawsuit filed in a Democratic state as well so, because we want to push this issue, issue to the Supreme Court because we think it will rule in our favor. And so... Money, redistricting, these are mechanics. These are the tools of public policy makers. They shouldn't allow them to rig the system and to deal out the public. And that's where I'm coming from. That's my pitch to you today. And, uh, and if we, uh, if we uh, do that and do that well, I, I think um, a lot of the rest of these problems will take care of themselves. So, thank you with that. John and I will be happy to take questions. If you just want to stand up and vent, that's, that's okay. Um, I, I know you'll feel better and we might learn something. I guess they're going to have a sit down. Um,